Uh, hey James, so this is Ray. Um, this is the Living Room Entertainment Center here. Um, if you look here, uh, between the Wii and the hard drive that connects to it, I have this box, which is the, an Acer Aspire Revo. Uh, as you can see, it's really tiny. It's uh, thinner than the Wii, um, slightly bigger just because it's a full cube instead of um, sort of the cutoff like the Wii is. At any rate, this powers the entertainment center, um, like for playing back movies and everything. I've got a cheap Windows Media Center remote control, which if I can figure out where I set that down. Oh, here we go. Which is this. Uh, has an IR sensor that I have on the top of the TV right here next to the Wii bar and uh, basically you can control it all with this so I'll switch over the input okay so now we're set to the media center PC so uh, get down here and you can see what the interface is like so if I bring it up uh, this is using the most recent version of the Xbox Media Center uh, using a custom skin. Um, so you have, you know, categories, movies, TV shows, weather, videos, etc. So if you go into movies here, uh, as you can see, it gives you a display of cover art at the bottom and uh, screen captures from the movie in the main viewing area. Over to the right, you get title, IMDb rating, uh, year of production, runtime, synopsis, any available metadata about the film, and uh, if it's available on IMDb, you'll also get the uh, rating. That would be my phone. Um, so anyway, rate, it's, it's pretty graphically appealing. And uh, yeah, so pretty much uh, anything you want to watch. Uh, it, the great thing about Xbox Media Center is because the Linux backends it uses, I mean, it can play virtually any fucking file you throw at it. Uh, including, you know, flash video that you'd pull off YouTube or, or whatever the case may be. Um, so, for example, uh, here's Batman under the red hood. Uh, you just hit the button. Playback begins immediately. Uh, this is a 1080p stream. Um, you can jump around. You have full control over audio, subtitles, etc. Uh, you can get uh, information on the playback. Um, Still, it's very cool. Uh, you have a traditional menu if you want to select chapters or modify things or go to the movie in the event that you're watching a, a full DVD rip or whatever. Uh, playback controls otherwise work exactly as you would expect. Uh, in addition to this, uh, you have a special section for TV shows, which uh, as you can see I've set up to look a little different graphically. Uh, so for instance we can go into Archer. And uh, each episode, you, again, you get a synopsis, metadata, a screenshot, where it falls in the series linearly. Um, for things that are multi-series, there's a few different ways you can do it, but as you see, like Avatar here, we have uh, cover art for each series. If you navigate within the series, you get the, uh, the same information as other things. So it works really well. Now, for sort of videos that don't fit into the standard TV or standard movie category you just have the videos section which will give you basically just let you drill down um, your folder path so as you can see I have anime, miscellaneous movies stand-up comedy, riff tracks, incompleted TV episodes weird and funny videos I download off the internet you know music videos and things like that and it also gives you screenshots of uh, whatever you're looking at so and you get the same uh, basic playback interface so again it all uh, you know it all works fairly well um, so that's basically it that's uh, that's the Xbox Media Center um, it's been working extremely well for us the family seems to love it and uh, if you ever want to set something like that up uh, let me know and in the meantime be good peace